welcome, welcome, welcome to episode 288 of the show with no name. I'm your humble host, Nick, and in today's episode, we're going to be visiting another really old pioneer farmer cemetery out here in Washington State in the Medical Lake area. This cemetery goes by the name of the St. Anne's Catholic Cemetery. It's a pretty interesting little farmer cemetery out here. And I have a couple people to talk about in today's episode, so let's get into this. As you can see, it was a really hot day out when I came out and filmed this. Even when it's 105 degrees out, I can't be stopped from coming out to these cemeteries. I'm going to start this episode off today talking about a woman named Helen Allard Chase. And she was born on May 18th, 1884 in Minnesota. This is an old photograph of her and her cousin when she was a little girl and they still lived in Minnesota. At some point in her life, her and her family would come to Medical Lake, Washington, where she would eventually be a patient at the Medical Lake State Hospital. She passed away on March 3rd, 1953 in Medical Lake. She was 68 years old at the time of her death. Donald Edward Makey was born on March 9, 1964 in New Jersey, and he would pass away at the young age of 17 years old in a car crash. I got an article from the Spokesman Review on Monday, October 12, 1981, and it reads, Boy Dies in Crash. A 17-year-old Medical Lake High School student was killed Saturday night in West Spokane when the car he was driving struck a tree head-on and rolled. Donald E. Makey was pronounced dead at the scene by paramedics. The incident occurred at about 9.30 p.m. on West Assembly near Bonnie Drive near Indian Canyon Golf Course. Passengers David B. Bennett, 16, and Angie Bradley, 16, both of Medical Lake, were only slightly injured, Spokane police said. The firefighters removed the victims by cutting a hole in the roof of the car. Esther Veronica Newman was born on March 13, 1907 in Hot Springs County, Wyoming, and she would pass away at the young age of 12 on December 27, 1919 at Medical Lake, Washington. Her death record states that she died of poisoning at the home of her stepfather. And that's all the information I got on her, but I often wondered what happened to that 12-year-old little girl. Did she drink something on accident? Which wasn't completely uncommon back in these days, but I don't know for sure. Last but not least, I'm going to talk about James McMahon. 
and he was born sometime in the year 1840 in Wisconsin, and he would pass away on June 7, 1895, in Medical Lake, somewhere around the age of 55. I found a pretty interesting story about him in the Colfax Commoner on September of 1892, about three years before his death. And it reads, James McMahon, a laborer from Paulus, was brought down Wednesday afternoon by Constable Callison and Jack Taylor, who filed a complaint charging him with insanity. After an examination by the physicians, McMahon was ordered detained in the county jail for a day or two upon the advice of the doctors in order to determine whether his flightiness was due to craziness or delirium. McMahon was first taken into custody at George Stevens' place, five miles from Palouse, where he was harvesting. He was making the Cedar Creek country howl in the dead hours of the night by his wild antics when he was seized and tied by three men and taken to Palouse at three o'clock this morning. In court, the wild-eyed man told in a nonchalant way that he drank five bottles of whiskey yesterday and twirled a string of beads with a Catholic cross as he told the story of his life since Sunday. He said he got the beads in a house last night and would return them when he went back. As near as he can be learned, he drank nothing but beer when drunk on Sunday. He was a pretty interesting fellow, that James McMahon. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the tour of St. Anne's Catholic Cemetery out here in Medical Lake, Washington. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you.